It's taller than an apartment building and weighs 900 tons. It took engineers months of work to put it together. Now the tunnel boring machine is nearly ready. An S-497 made by the Hellenknecht company in Schwanau, Baden-Württemberg. The machine was assembled in order to carry out performance tests in Germany. Then it's to be taken apart for shipping to Mexico. Helen Knecht project manager Oliver Engler is responsible for the machine's design. The way it works varies according to its application. The drill has its own hydraulic tools that give it the capability to build the tunnel wall of heavy concrete blocks as it works. We've moved all the parts, telescoped it, everything went without a hitch, completed the internal test, it's good to go. The machine is about as long as a soccer field. Its centerpiece is its enormous cutting wheel. The tools remove the material. Then, as the drill works, it goes through the openings in the cutter wheel and is removed by a screw conveyor, which we'll see later. Then it falls onto a conveyor belt and is moved away from the drill face. The video shows how it works with the cutting wheel, the screw conveyor, and the tool for building the rings of the tunnel. And right behind it, what's known as the erector. The erector can rotate around the shield completely to place the individual stones. Then these are set. When one ring is finished, then a new thrust begins. And the thrust cylinders push the machine to the front, making way for the next ring to be built. The processes of drilling and building the tunnel continually alternate. Ideally, the machine can dig up to 350 meters a week. Herrenknecht is supplying three machines in this order. The job is enormous. The tunnel beneath Mexico City will be 60 kilometers long. When it's finished, it will be the world's longest tunnel. It's a huge challenge for the Herrenknecht engineers. From start to finish, we'll be at the construction site and, of course, while it's moving forward as well. Mexico City is a huge metropolitan area with a population of more than 20 million. Wastewater is a problem. Some parts of the city, such as Chalco in the south, are almost always threatened by flooding. Then a smelly slurry from the sewage canals can end up on the streets. This part of the Chalco district was flooded with wastewater twice this year. Pedro Vidal was last here in June. He was sent by the Mexico State Social Affairs Ministry to assess the damage. He says the people in the district are still suffering as a consequence. This is the home of one of the families Vidal visited last summer. Like all of her neighbors, the floodwaters caught Yasmin Mendoza unprepared. This was my sister's room. Back there you can still see how high the water was. Since then we've raised the floor so that it's higher than street level. You've done that to prevent another flood? That's right. The family received 20,000 pesos from the government, a bit more than 1,000 euros. They used the money to replace the fridge, the TV, and a wardrobe, and some other furniture. They're thankful, but soon Pedro Vidal may have to come out again. The planned tunnel will be 62 kilometers long and 7 meters in diameter. A promotional video for the National Water Authority, Conagua, promises the East Tunnel will solve the problem. And size isn't Mexico City's only problem. There's also a geological issue. Mexico City is sinking. And removing groundwater speeds the process. Then wastewater even ends up flowing back into the city. 
Ah, sí, estas son bombas. Este... This is the man in charge of coping with the problem. He's Jose Luis Lueje, head of the Water Authority Conagua, and he's decided the tunnel boring machine from Germany is his solution. I'll explain it to you. This is a diagram of tests that we carried out ourselves. This is where the border of Mexico City is. For the sake of orientation, this is where Mexico City's airport is located. The blue spots are where the subsidence of 20 to 40 centimeters a year takes place. That's 20 to 40 centimeters a year meaning this part of the city has subsided more than 20 meters in the last century, which of course is a problem for wastewater disposal. The East Tunnel is going to begin right here. Then it will go along, under the ground, up to here. That's where we'll build a pumping station and use this channel, where we haven't had any subsidence yet. The next rainy season will certainly come. Tune in next time to see how Mexico City residents are getting ready to fight the flood and if the tunneling machine arrives in time to prevent it.